Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Stephanie from SomewhatSimple.com and I am here today with one of the most popular recipes that we have on our site. This is a recipe for fettuccine chicken alfredo casserole. It's a little bit different of a twist. It's a recipe that my mom has been making for years and I'm excited to share it with you guys today. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you click the logo in the corner below to subscribe to our channel and let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do for this recipe is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and go ahead and put an entire package of fettuccine noodles on the stove top in a rapid boil. You're gonna boil it for 12 minutes or according to package directions. While the noodles are boiling, go ahead and shred some chicken. Now the recipe that my mom made, she actually just used canned tuna, which I think tastes just fine, but my kids are not big fans of tuna, so I use shredded chicken. This chicken has already been boiled. I'm just going to shred it and set it aside. Okay, so to this same pot of noodles, you are going to add one 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. You'll also need one cup of sour cream and all that shredded chicken, which is about two cups. Go ahead and mix well. Now would also be a good time to salt and pepper your pasta if that's to your liking. Lightly spray the bottom of a 13 by nine inch casserole pan and transfer the noodle mixture into the pan. To top this casserole, you're going to put about two tablespoons of breadcrumbs just sprinkled over the top and about a half a cup of cheddar cheese. Next, you'll bake this in the oven and all you need to do is melt it and make sure it's all heated through. So it could be as little as five minutes all the way up to 20 minutes, just depending on how much heat and how fast your cheese will melt. Okay, so once you take this out of the oven, it is ready to serve. If you would like to add some parsley to the top or some chopped green onions, I prefer the way it looks with just a little bit more color and I love the flavor of the green onions, so that's what I'm gonna do today. But this is totally optional. You do not have to add these. And then all you have to do is serve it to your family. And there we go. So that casserole is just a delicious, simple meal that you can make for your family tonight. I sure hope you guys love it. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you click our logo in the bottom corner to subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> Play the music a little louder over this part. <laughs> this does not look good when I'm pouring it out. I promise it tastes good. 